Okay guys, we've got a bunch of products here at First Man. We've got our men's lifestyle supplement, which is everything that a man needs on a daily basis. We've got our natural diuretic supplement, Defined, which allows you to get an angular face, removes all the water, especially good for summer. We've got our Male Advantage book, which is a paperback. You can order this, or you can get this in audiobook format or ebook format. We've got our Better Looking Man course, which I'll bring up pictures on screen now. And we've got my personal diet plan and fitness plan in ebook format. On top of this, guys, we've got a body wash coming out soon, part of the testosterone friendly range. We've got men's boxers and a whole clothing line coming out soon. A whole bunch of products, but for now, let's get back to the video that you actually wanted to watch. Okay, guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about testosterone levels. And um, <clears throat> I was with Mike on the testosterone podcast very recently. And he was talking about how uh, testosterone levels have dropped, okay? And I said to him that in the, like, in, there's certain studies in the men's lifestyle kind of spectre, if you would, where people have said that there's like rumors that pre war, testosterone levels were, were measured <clears throat> and the ad, average man had like 1,500 nanograms per deciliter. It was like one from 1,000 to 1,500. There's like rumors on this, right? But it's never really been confirmed. I was asking Mike about this, who's, you know, there's not many people on the planet who know more about testosterone than this man. That's what he does. Balance my hormones is his business. And uh, he was like, no, it's completely true. He was like, I've seen the same thing. He was like, that's completely true. That was what the study showed. So you think to yourself, okay, well, the average now, for anybody who pays attention to this, is around about, it's just below 600 nanograms per deciliter. Which, to put into context, if you're at like 250 nanograms per deciliter, that's like an 18, 90-year-old man. Okay, it's just, it's just like shocking levels. To put more context on it, my dad, who was a really masculine man, he got stage four prostate cancer and um, they put him on estrogen tablets to lower his testosterone because they think that testosterone causes prostate cancer, which is insane when you think about it because young men don't get it, old men do. So, you know, do the fucking standard logic. And the test that they did all those years ago was on three people that proved that. So it's just like, it's so fucking dumb. But never mind. I tried to tell the doctor that. No, I know better. You don't, kid. Like, you're just reading a textbook and passing exams. It doesn't make you smart, but, you know, that's a personal quarrel of mine. Never mind. Um, but my dad was on estrogen tablets. He had stage 4 cancer, and his testosterone was still 777. That's why I remember it. Nanograms per deciliter. So he was still, like, nearly 200 nanograms per deciliter higher than the average guy, and he was on estrogen tablets. So he should have been down, like, a lot lower, but he wasn't, right? And it's because he's a masculine guy. He's from yesteryear, like his testosterone levels were higher. And then they say like our grandfathers were way higher than that and whatnot. And my dad's testosterone levels pre, you know, cancer, pre estrogen tablets, whatever. He's probably in like the thousands, right? And you think to yourself, well, like what a shit show that is for men. And I don't think it, I, th I think it goes way under the radar. I think it's... I don't think enough is spoken about this, you know, it's like men's mental health and it's all over the fucking place right now. But men's testosterone levels getting schmacked everywhere, nothing. Nobody really cares, right? And I think, like, isn't that strange? I'm not saying, I'm not calling conspiracy, but I'm just saying that's so crazy that I've, I'm making a video on this soon, but it's almost like mental health in this era is encouraged you know it's very much like there is no cure do you know what I mean they kind of want you to have it they want you it's kind of encouraged to be like yeah you are sad keep going with the sadness like this is great do you know what I mean the kind of cure for it is to prolong it like that's what it feels like now it's just like it's, it's anti-improvement mental health in this era nobody actually wants you to come out of it it's like people quite enjoy being in the rut and getting the attention um, which is strange. And then you look at it and you think high testosterone levels used to be a standard thing. We're now at like a third of what our granddads were and the media and the news, etc., going and, the, and you know, the world of the doctors is just like, eh, it's fine. It, it's fine. It's not a problem. 
Do you, know, do you know how crazy that is, guys? Like men's sperm levels, sperm counts are a third of what they used to be. Infertility rates are at an all-time high. Low testosterone is at an all-time high. Erectile dysfunction, all-time high. Men's handshake strength at an all-time low. Like, do you, like what? That's an epidemic. Like, that is fucking awful. Like, what a shit show that is, guys, when you really think about it. We're basically looking at the destruction of men, okay? And what gets put out there, and I'll get to the point of the video in a minute, but what gets put out there into the world is like, uh, you know, things like women are becoming, you know, they're having a better place in the world, so like equality's coming into play, they're being respected more, etc. It's all great, right? I'm supportive of that, I'm behind it, right? Of course I am, like I'm not a fucking barbarian. But at the same time, when people say, oh, the feminist movement's made this happen, like women are rising up in the workplace, equal pay. Here's the thing, right? If men's testosterone levels were at an all-time high, like they were in the past, this just never would have happened. Because women cannot compete with men physically. Just, not, just full stop, okay? I'm wildly confident I could smash the, the women's... UFC champion for fun just because I'd be so much stronger and bigger and whatever right I'd, and I've got no prior like high level training in that and I'd be wildly confident at six foot two 200 pounds that I would just smash that woman to smithereens right one punch from me I feel like would just take her completely out and I'm not even an, like I'm, a, I'm not even a I'm just an amateur never done the sport in my life do you know what I mean at a decent level so it's just like right you can't compete there in the workplaces that I've ever worked in, I've seen women arrive at 9, leave at 5. I've seen men get there at 6 a.m. and leave at 9 p.m. Consistently, right? And it's, it's not a shit on women. It's just like how we're built mentally, okay? It's more of like, uh, it's just, it's more of a bio biological thing. It's like the female brain wants to socialize, wants to go out after work, go for drinks with friends, have a chat, whatever. The blokes are like, I want money. Because if I get the money and I rise up in the company, I could fuck that woman. That's a testosterone thing, okay? And that's going away. It's like guys, because uh, this is the thing with testosterone. People think it's just muscles and it's going to the gym and sport and performance. It changes your brain. It changes the way you think. It changes your energy levels, The, you know, your level of risk taking and stuff like that. They've done proven studies on this, your ability to get the woman. So if your testosterone levels are dropping, naturally, you're going to care less about being top dog in the workplace. You're going to care less about, you know, being competitive and getting that top job and fighting for it and doing longer hours at work to make more money and whatnot and take more risks and whatever, which is why the workplaces were male dominated back in the day because women just simply couldn't compete, okay? But we're in a generation now where women have been let in. In my opinion, it's not that women have fought hard and whatnot. They've been let in because men have got, I'd say men have got less competitive. You know, it's not about being weaker and whatnot. Like it, logic and intelligence says that women should be treated with equality. Everybody should get a fair crack at it. You know, if a woman's as talented as a man, she should get paid as much. I'm all for all of this. But I'm saying I could try as hard as John Jones, okay? I could try as hard as Usain Bolt both guys are going to whoop my ass because they're just so much better at it. You know, I could really believe that I was going to achieve the goal of beating a bear in a fight. The bear's ripping my throat out, okay? He's tearing me up ass first. That's what's going to happen. So it's just like, as much as women, you know, have risen up in the workplace and whatnot, it's because it's a direct correlation of men just not being what they used to be, okay? If men were what they used to be and they had high testosterone and whatever women just wouldn't be able to compete. In my opinion, in the workplaces, stuff like that, people say, oh, you hate women and all this shit. Like, come on, are you fucking crazy? Do you know what I mean? Some of the stuff, you know, I've said against men as well, of like, it's men's fault, it's not not women's. I've defended female body counts and stuff like that. So don't take it out of context. I just say what I see. But I just don't think a woman can ever compete with a man at pretty much anything. Like, she could be 10 times more intelligent than the man and whatnot. She could be blessed skill-wise in that job, more so than the man, like 10 times more. He's just going to do more hours. He's just going to show up more. He's just going to be more competitive. He's going to just try harder, right? And that's, it's not women are lazy and whatever. That's what testosterone does. I've seen this in the workplace. I've seen it when people say, oh, there's too many male CEOs. It's like, yeah, because they're monsters. If you've got high testosterone 
there's not a lot a woman can do, okay? She's not stopping you, like, and I'm not talking physical, I'm talking mental. Like, I had high testosterone as a kid. My mum would be like, don't do it. No, I'm fucking doing it. I want you to make this career. No, I'm not doing it. Like, just, you will just drag people with you because you're just a beast. Like, you're a natural leader when you have high testosterone. And it's just like, the world has changed in such a way and it's been molded by testosterone levels being lowered. And it's like, people say, oh, feminism. People say stuff like, um, you know, men don't want this sort of thing anymore. Men are choosing to stay at home with it. No, like, it's all a direct correlation of lower testosterone levels because it changes the way you think, okay? And this gets me onto the point of the video. 99% of male problems would be solved if they were to raise their testosterone levels. Okay, if they were to get their testosterone levels up into like the top 5% of men, 99% of their problems would be solved. Okay, I'm a true believer of that. And this comes from somebody who had massive depression, like crippling depression, where I was like on my bed, just kind of curled up against the wall, didn't know where to go with life, just kind of like in tears, just like, and that's hard for me to admit on a channel like this, because you want to be seen as the big alpha male, do you know what I mean? But I was just crippled by it. And I was just like, I don't know where I'm going to go in life. Do you know what I mean? Then I focused on getting my testosterone levels up, getting outside more, getting more sunlight, lifting heavy weights and whatnot. And at 29, because I had all that at like 21, 22, at 29 years old, for like five, six years, I've not thought that way once. It's not even got close to that. I look at suicide and depression. I'm just like, that's so silly to me now. Like I would never even dream of doing that. I would never even get close to doing that anymore. And the one direct correlation is I just sorted my fucking life out by getting my testosterone levels up first, okay? Because the thing is, if your testosterone levels are high, you're gonna be more competitive, which means you're probably gonna succeed more. Effort feels good when your testosterone levels are high. You're probably gonna become more successful, which solves fucking the majority of your problems. You're gonna get in shape, you're gonna feel, you're gonna have more energy, okay, when you've got high testosterone levels. You're gonna be more jacked, more masculine. Uh, guys are gonna treat you with more respect. Women are gonna wanna fuck you. It's just like all your problems start getting solved, right? you stop feeling depressed, your hormones are back in sync, you, you, your mood changes for the better. Do you know what I mean? It's just like all these problems go away. And, you know, people always say there's no one fits all. I, I, I just think with male life and, you know, male happiness and whatever, like high testosterone pretty much is a one, is, is a one fits all strategy. People go, oh, if you're depressed and you, what the strategy you need to use is you need to talk more to other men, right? And it's just like, you guys don't fucking get this, do you? Like men, we used to be, and my bloodline is Vikings, okay? I've been told by my dad and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, men used to be rowing across the fucking seas, jumping out with an ax, pillaging a, vi a village, raping all the fucking women, which I do not support, so please do not go down that route. I'm just putting context on a real life situation taking that axe and just driving it through 50, 100 men's fucking faces, you know, just ram, ramshacking through the village, taking all the gold, everything, rowing back with all the boys and then going and having a massive, like, piss up with, and alcohol is not what it used to be, okay? It was a lot, it was like, it was more like moonshine back then. But they'll be drinking wine and everything and, you know, fucking women and fighting and whatnot. And now, and now we've gone from that to like sitting at an office all day in front of a computer screen, clicking away saying, yes, sir, okay, yeah, can I get you a coffee and whatnot? Now, which of those two strategies do I prefer? Well, probably the modern one, right? Because we've got computers, we've got a better life. I don't really wanna be pillaging and raping women, right? Let's be honest. But at the same time, the sense of adventure, you know, and the sense of just being outdoor with the boys and going and conquering lands and whatever, you cannot deny that there's something still within all of us men that want to do that sort of thing, but in a different context, which comes from like business, success in the workplace, you know, going and celebrating a big deal that you just landed and going and having a few drinks, fucking a few women, like guys visiting strip clubs and stuff like that. That's still within men. Um, but this is the thing, our lives are just so different now. Like you've got guys who are like, my missus earns a hundred grand a year. I'm just going to sit at home, be a stay at home dad. I don't get that. Okay, because I have high testosterone. For me, I'd be like, fuck that. She's going to be sleeping with somebody else very soon. And, and I would also, if I wanted to fuck that woman, I would see that as an opportunity. I'd be like, that guy's a pussy. I'm, I'm going straight in there. I'm going to break that bitch's back. Right? And that just comes from high testosterone. People are like chauvinistic, blah, 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 all this other stuff. You can't really fight that when you've got high testosterone. That's just how you think. It's just your brain works differently. You're naturally aggressive. You want to compete with other men. 
And we're, like I said, we're in a world now where like my dad with stage four cancer on estrogen tablets can be stronger, can lift more weight. He was still going to the gym and stuff and be more of a masculine man than guys who are like 21 years old whose testosterone should be like prime time. Do you know what I mean? Um, but they're scared to like talk to women. They're scared. They're, they're anxious. They don't want to go out in public. And it's like, if you boost your testosterone, you'll fix all of that. Now, I've never been on testosterone, TRT or anything like that. But I know guys you have, and they're like, I'll never get off it. Like, why is that? And they're like, because I just feel fucking amazing. Like, I feel like Superman, like an Ubermensch or some shit, right? And that's what people don't understand is like, that's the natural way of men. That's naturally how we are. Like, if you've got high testosterone, you're probably going to earn the most money. You're probably going to look the best. You're probably going to have the best woman. You're probably going to fuck the best women. You're probably going to be in the best mood, have the most energy, have the best sex life and all this stuff. And you go, I don't see any negatives there. And I see a lot of problems that are being fixed. Like erectile dysfunction, at its worst rates ever. The weakest handshakes of all time. Estrogen levels in men, the highest it's ever been. Testosterone levels, the lowest. Infertility, the highest. Sperm rates, the lowest. It's like... Guys, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Like, that is an absolute shit show. Now, I kind of love it. And I'll tell you why. Because my testosterone is high. And I'm just, I've told you guys this a million times now. And I can't wait for you guys to experience the same thing. I'm just marauding through life. I can do whatever I want. If I see a beautiful woman with a guy, I can talk to her. And he does fuck all. He just walks off, backs up, just like looks down at the floor. It just, you know, you can pretty much just fuck around with the guy. And they don't care. Um... You know, you can pretty much just move any guy out of the way if you want to go somewhere, you know, if you're walking with confidence. When I start businesses, I can pretty much just destroy anybody else's business in like five minutes because they're just not ready to compete. You know, it's just easy to do whatever the fuck you want. It's easy to lead, to run the show, to tell people to fuck off and just get what you want done. So I quite like it because the competition level is so low. But for the media and the, you know, the doctoring world out there or the medical professions, for them to be like, you know, for, for there to be like so many new issues, so many new problems and it's okay, it's normal for guys to do it. But it's just like, how has nobody pointed back yet and gone testosterone levels all time low? It's a direct correlation of everything that makes you masculine. You know, guys, oh, I can't get hard dick. I'm scared to talk to women. I'm depressed. I've got no energy. I, I, I feel, I, I find it hard to build muscle and, uh, and I gain body fat easily. And, you know, I just don't feel like the workplace respect me. It's like literally just boost your testosterone levels. I swear to God, it'll fix like 99% of your problems. You'll be fucking your girlfriend like a train. Okay, your dick will be harder than ever. You'll start building muscle. You'll start losing body fat. Um, you know, your voice will even feel deeper. You'll just feel more confident. You'll swag through places. Like, I walk through places and I'm just like, I, I feel fucking great. I could talk to anybody. I feel like the greatest person in the world. I feel like the best guy here. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it just gives you this buzz. It's just like a tingle in your balls. And I can't believe it's just not been discussed. I can't believe it doesn't go out into the world. And it's just like, you know, guys, oh, I've got really bad depression and anxiety. What shall I do, doc? I'll oh, take these tablets. You know, oh, the workplace don't respect me. I feel like my job's just not, you know, I should have got that promotion and my boss treats me like shit. But you tell, I used to tell my boss to fuck off. I used to tell my boss he was a cunt, okay? I was, oh, people, no, no way do you do that. I swear to God. I could get people on this podcast, like, and tell, uh, who I used to work with, and they'd be like, yeah, he did, okay? There was, there's bosses that I really respected, but my most recent boss, I used to tell him to fuck off all the time. I said he's being an idiot. I was like, he fired a guy and then that guy came back. And I was like, you're the weirdest guy in the world. I was like, he's disrespecting you. He's literally, no, sorry, he didn't fire the guy. The guy quit and then came back because what he quit to go and do didn't pan out. And I was like, he's using you for a paycheck. I was like, as soon as his thing pans out, he'll fuck off again. I was like, you're being treated like a mug. I used to talk to my boss like that. And he was like, he's a little Swiss guy, but he was like, I really respect Chris. I really respect him. He was like, he cares about the company. It's just like, people fucking love it. People respect it. Like, if you're a jacked guy, you go for a job interview, and they're like, I really like this guy. They, they have no idea why, but they really like you. I'm, I'm telling you now, high testosterone as a man fixes 99% of your problems, okay? The, the reason the world is the way it is today, and women have, like, taken the power role you know, and they've got so much hold over men and they're dominating them, telling them what to do. When I say jump, you say how high. All this bollocks, right? 
and guys are afraid to go over and their sweaty palms and their voices like this when they're talking, it's because of the low testosterone. You just don't feel like the man that you're supposed to feel like, okay? When you've got that shit radiating through your body and you're pumped and you've just been squatting and deadlifting all morning, you know, you just walk differently. You talk differently. You don't give a fuck about anything. You're more willing to stand up for yourself. You know, it's um, Dan, Dan Pena was talking about that experiment that they did where guys got asked if a guy came up and spat in your girlfriend or wife's face, what would you do? And he said all these years ago, it was just like, I'd punch him in the face, I'd break his neck, whatever. And he said, like, in recent years, guys have written down, I would try and negotiate with the guy. I'd try and uh, ascertain what sort of day he was having. It's like, what the fuck? That's like a real experiment that he does, okay? Like a real test that he does. Are you kidding me? If you had spat in my mum's face, my dad would have killed you. He would have ripped your face off with his bare hands. I would do the fucking same. I've spoken to guys in the past and stuff where I've been like, I would stamp on that cunt's head over something really trivial. And they're like, all right, mate, that's a bit extreme. Oh, that's crazy. Ooh, you're a bit aggressive today. And I'm like, why are you not like that? I don't get it. Like if I was with my girlfriend and some guy, some guy came up and like slapped her ass, he's dead. I'm smashing that guy around that place for like 20 minutes just for the hell of it, just because I enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't understand where that comes from. Like guys say to me in the comments sometimes, and I know people are going to comment this now, which is kind of funny, so I won't react, but guys say stuff in the comments like, Chris, you've inspired me. I love what you do. I've started doing the same shit as you. In two, three years, I'm going to replace you. I'm going to do what you're going to do to GQ. And I'm like, oh, you really? You little fucking cunt. You try. I will snap your neck. Right? That's my mentality. I'm like, oh, you want to go to war? Like, fuck it, I'm going to work twice as hard. You really think you can get to this level? You won't even get close, you little cunt. That's how my mind works. That's my mentality. I don't see that in a lot of men now, okay? And my life's fucking great. I've got everything that I want. I've got access to women. I'm in a penthouse. I've got a Range Rover downstairs. I've got money. You know, business is going well. I'm in great shape. Like, it's, do you know what I mean, guys? It's not... I've got evidence to back this up. And every guy that I know that is doing well for themselves has high testosterone. There's a direct correlation. Guys with high testosterone, they're just more fucking successful. They just accomplish shit. They get things done. You know, when guys go on TRT, their lives get better. It's just like, if you, if you want a one-fits-all solution to all your problems, smash that testosterone level. Uh, smash those testosterone levels up and you watch everything come together. You'll be more confident. The anxiety will go away. The depression will go away. Okay, so Chris, how do I do that? You, it was like, there's so many ways to boost testosterone, okay? It, like, it goes deep into like using fluoride-free toothpaste, using glass drinking bottles and having a reverse osmosis machine to reverse the water back to its natural state rather than drinking like plastic out of plastic bottles with BPA-filled water and whatnot, you know, and then fluoride toothpaste and whatnot. But... They're like core fundamentals that are going to change your life is go to the gym and start lifting heavy shit and doing compound lifts. Uh, get in a good Carcadian rhythm where you're sleeping at the same time every single day and waking up at the same time every single day and try and be in line with life. So like when it's dark, go to bed. When it's bright, wake up. Do you know what I mean? Get your eight hours every single night. Drink plenty of water, like four liters per day. Um, get outside, get sunlight, get your vitamin D, get your daylight, sunlight, whatever. Um, eat clean, avoid alcohol. Just like the basics of life, okay? The standard shit. Just stop sitting at your fucking desk all day and just looking at a screen and then going home, watching porn, masturbating, watching a movie, eating fucking 10 Pop-Tarts and then being like, sorry, babe, my dick doesn't get hard. Of course it doesn't get fucking hard because you're 28% body fat and anything above 16 isn't optimal for testosterone levels. Okay, you need to be between 8 and 16. It's just like, I, I just find it all so annoying and so simple because there's so many guys out there that have got this massive range of problems. It's like, you know, Dr. Sebi, the guy who's like, I can cure any disease because every disease is the same. It's just the cell membrane gets compromised and you produce excess mucus, okay? And mucus is the result of every disease. He went to court and, prove, and proved this and won, okay, multiple, multiple times. Like, I don't want to get assassinated, but this guy proved that he cured cancer and all this other shit. And there was a guy that used to be in the men's lifestyle industry that cured his um, 
colon cancer from this as well. I can't remember his name now. He's massive in this industry. And then he, apparently he got cancer again and died really quickly. And it was like, that's sus. That's really sus. I forgot his name now. Um, but there's a lot of this shit out there. And it's like the Dr. Sebi approach where like that one approach where you just stop the cell membrane getting compromised and you stop producing mucus just solves every fucking disease and every problem. And this is coming from a guy who was fathering children at like 80, 90 years old or something. This guy was nuts. And um, you should go and research it. It's kind of cool. And um, I think it's the same with men's testosterone levels. It's like, oh, I'm depressed. Oh, I've got anxiety. Chris, my problem is I can't talk to women. I get nervous. My problem is I can't lose body fat and build muscle. My problem is I don't get respected in the workplace. My problem is I've got no energy. My problem is I'm never motivated to do anything. And it's like, guys, I promise you every single one of those problems is ticked and solved by raising your testosterone levels. And it's just like the most, it's the easiest thing. I, it's the first thing I did in self-improvement. You know, and I know like Hamza's really big on this at the moment. He's trying to boost them nonstop because he's realized the same thing. Every time he boosts his testosterone levels, he becomes more successful and he accomplishes more shit. He gets in better shape. He's more confident with women. It's just like a direct correlation of you just become more masculine. You just fulfill your role easier. Your dick gets harder, looks bigger, feels bigger. Sex is better. Your sex drive goes up. You know when girls are like, when I want to go for round five, it's like you've got that in the tank. It's fucking easy to do once you're like, once your, you know, testosterone levels are high enough. And all these guys have got all these individual problems and like, Chris, I'm suffering with this. I'm suffering with this, but I'm suffering with this, but it's not okay for me because I'm suffering with it. It's like every single one of those problems, well, 99% of them can be fixed from having higher testosterone levels, okay? Do some research, guys, and look into testosterone level benefits and stuff like that. Proven studies where they've proven that you will take more risks. You're more likely to get the woman you're more likely to become successful and accomplish things. You're more likely to have energy to, like, throughout the day and stuff like that. It's just like they're all core fundamentals of what makes you, what makes you successful in multiple areas of life. Like if you've got, put, put it this way, if your energy levels are higher, you're more motivated and you've got a real passion to want to work, do you think you're going to be more successful than a guy who's like, I'm demotivated, I've got no energy, all I want to do is sleep? Of course you're going to be more successful. That other guy could be 10 times more intelligent than you with a 10 times better idea. You're going to be more successful because he's not fucking doing anything. Do you see what I mean? When it comes to women, if you're not nervous and you believe in yourself and you've been in the gym and you're pretty jacked, do you think you're going to get the girl over the guy who's really handsome but skinny and scared and he won't even approach the women? Do you know what I mean, guys? It's like it's not... People have encapsulated these problems with... They've overcomplicated them. They're like, oh, but I can't approach women because my crippling anxiety kicks in and I don't feel good enough. And I don't. And it's like, it's just like one core root problem. You've probably got low testosterone levels because my testosterone levels are sky high and I feel fucking amazing and I don't have any of those problems. When I was younger and I was living a shitty lifestyle, watching porn, eating shit food, not going to the gym, I had all of these problems. I, I don't think it takes a genius to understand that like, you know, testosterone levels was the catalyst for this, okay? And then once you get the high testosterone levels, you start working on stuff, you start putting points on the board, you feel even better about yourself. But without the testosterone, it's probably not gonna happen. Like there's proven studies that prove that you're more competitive, you're more likely to take risks, you're more likely to get promotion, you're more likely to get the woman. Everybody focuses on testosterone as like, go to the gym, get jacked. Sperm count is higher. And it's like, yeah, those things are cool too. But... If it changes your brain chemistry, if it changes the way you're thinking, if it's changing your decision making, that is fucking massive. If it's changing your energy levels, that's huge, guys. That is huge. That That's worth more than anything. You know, oh, it makes you jacked. Well, if you don't have high testosterone levels, you're not even going to choose to go to the gym. I wake up, do I want to go to the gym? Yeah, I feel great. Energy levels are high. Can't wait to train. Another guy wakes up with low testosterone and he's like, oh, I can't really be bothered. And he's got to force himself to go, which means my results are going to be better. I wake up in the morning and I can't wait to start working. Another guy wakes up and he's like, yeah, just low energy. Like, I know what I should be doing, but I just don't want to do it. I'm telling you that comes from low testosterone. Okay, so it's like the first step that you should be doing on your path to success. It's just raising your testosterone levels. And when you do, like I said, stuff like women just fall into line. They just recognize this guy. I can't compete with this fucking guy. This guy's a monster. This guy just says what he needs to say. 
he just does what I want him to do. He just fucks me the way that I'm supposed to be fucked. Do you know what I mean? He just just eats my pussy without even like without me even having to ask or like uh, like beg him to do it or like convince him to do it. He just dives straight in there because he's that type of guy. You know, he just grabs me in the right way, just says the right things, just fucking pays for things, like doesn't complain and whatever. Like that all comes from high testosterone, just changing who you are, the way you think, your brain and body chemistry. Like it will change all of that shit. So many guys, oh, I got this problem and this problem. One fits all strategy, silver bullet strategy, I promise you it belongs in boosting your testosterone levels. And that's why the world is becoming the way it is now. That's why men are so much weaker these days. That's why men have got so many more problems. And that's why, you know, it's a marketer's dream. The guys have got a million problems and we can sell you a million products to fix each one of those problems. I get it. Do you know what I mean? I get that. I, I'm, I'm in the kind of industry myself. I see it every single day. I see what these companies are doing. You know, like, if you buy this, your life's going to be amazing. If you buy this, your life's going to be amazing. If you wear these sort of, sh like Joe Rogan said, those shoes with the tassels, you'll get attention off women. It's like, I know guys that are just big, jacked, hairy motherfuckers that are just slamming girls nightly, okay? No guy fucks with them. They get shit done. They're just the masculine guy. They're willing to go over and approach the girl when the, the real handsome guy that's got all the potential is just pissing his pants in the corner and his shit scared to go over you know it's just like that's where it comes from and if you don't believe me go and ask any guy that's ever taken like trt or testosterone they'll be like i'm never fucking getting off it or taking steroids because they'll tell you they'll be like i feel fucking amazing like I, i'll never get off this in my life do you know what i mean so I, I think a lot of male problems are blown out of proportion. Anxiety, depression, I don't feel good. I feel like oh, I just, I got no energy. I just feel weak and whatnot. I just boost your testosterone levels and then come back to me and tell, tell me again. You know, because I feel like a lot of these problems are blown out of proportion. Oh, but you don't understand this different from me. I'm really depressed. It's crippling. I've got anxiety. I can't approach women. It's just like, have you ever been to the gym and done squats, deadlifts? Have you cleaned up your diet? Because I, I guarantee, like, I can look at most guys' lifestyles and be like, okay, you're eating Pop-Tarts, you're eating Weetabix for breakfast, you're eating these cereals that are sugary and they've been designed to lower testosterone levels. Like, that's the whole story of how Kellogg started. Now, that, a lot of that is a lack of knowledge, but if you're just sat at home at night watching Netflix and then you watch a bit of porn and then you go to bed at, like, 3 a.m., you get up the next day and you're like, I just feel like shit and you have an energy drink and then you're telling me that... You know, it's all right for you, Chris, because you've got good genetics. You're full of shit. You know, oh, I'm trying to rise up in the workplace, but they bully me. It's like, probably because you're a pussy. That's probably what it is. You know, my woman, uh, the, the woman at work is my boss. It's like, it just, I just don't see how that would happen. I just don't. She's talented. She's did this. It, well, I, I, I get it. But if you were fucking relentless, she just can't compete with you. She just can't compete with you. Like, I've had women trying to compete with me in different things and different areas, and they try and have arguments with you and whatever, and you just destroy them. When you've got high testosterone, it's just very easy. I'm just more competitive. I just don't quit. I won't give up. Like, the mental battle, I can handle a lot more pain. I can just psych myself up. Do you know what I mean? I can just go through more. Now, there's female mentality monsters out there. It's just not on the same level when you've got high testosterone. You know, you're just willing to fucking kill for your goals. And it's just like, there's, there's levels to this game when you get to that point. And for so many guys, they don't understand that silver bullet approach of just boost your testosterone levels. 99% of your problems will fucking go away. I promise you, stop touching your dick, stop watching porn, stop eating fucking Pop-Tarts and, you know, sitting there every night till 4 a.m. just watching some, you know, disgusting incest shit on the internet. Just stop watching fucking Netflix relentlessly. Stop like, do you know what I mean? Having energy drinks in the morning and sugary snacks and then be like, oh, I don't feel too good. Go to the gym in the morning, lift the heaviest fucking shit you can find. Go and spar some guy. Go and find one of your friends who's also a pussy and be like, let's box each other. Do you know what I mean? Let's just help each other get up that ladder. Let's just box each other. Let's just, let's go in, you know, instead of just doing the softest shit ever and feeling like, wankers let's just go and do some tough masculine shit let's test ourselves you're only young once let's go and test our bodies let's go and see what we can do it's just like a forgotten art it's a forgotten art like me and my friend were here the other day before a night out we were wrestling each other 
That's what we do, and it got fucking competitive. Do you know what I mean? Like headlocks and like wrestling, and there's a little like smack in the wall that I had to fix. Like we got really fucking competitive, and then afterwards we were like laughing, shaking hands, whatever. That's what guys do. It's just like, it's funny, when you get two masculine guys together, that's what they'll do. They'll just fucking compete with each other. They'll see a beautiful woman and be like, I could get her. No, I'll fucking get her first, watch this. That kind of art is gone, because it's like, it's rare to find a masculine man. It's very rare to find multiple masculine men that hang out together. And that is a massive downfall now as well. Massive downfall, like, because if you get like 20 testosterone fuel guys together, Fuck, it's going to be a nightmare. Do you know what I mean? They're going to be... Uh, it's just going to be like an uber level of testosterone, masculinity, whatever. They're going to be competing with each other. We don't have that anymore. We don't hang around in tribes. We don't hang around in groups. We don't, you know, go to go to war together. You don't have like a crew of like 20, 30 guys rowing across in a boat and you've all got axes and you're like chopping people's heads off, right? Which is great. Do you know what I mean? It's great. I'm not, I'm not some stupid idiot that thinks that's a better way to live. But at the same time, like, we've lost that art. We've lost that art of, like, there's less men playing sports now than ever, which I've been a, you know, proponent of because I've said, like, if you play sports, you can't look that good. It's better to be in the gym, whatever. But that's a compensatory version of it. You're going to the gym, you're getting jacked, testosterone's going up. Like, it's improving your life anyway. But it just goes to show, like, guys are playing sports less than ever. They'll be set. They'd rather play, like, Fortnite. You see those studies in like Japan where guys are sexless now and they're just watching anime porn and it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Now, it's great for me because it's just like you're one of a kind. It's like you're one in a million. Like all the guys that you meet are just like pussy, 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 pussy. I could destroy you. I could destroy you. So it's quite nice because you've got no competition and women are getting hotter than ever. So it's just like, you know, once you get to that top level, it's a fucking feast. But at the same time... I can't believe it's not a mainstream problem. I can't believe it doesn't get spoken about more. I can't believe so many guys don't realize they got all these problems. I got a hundred problems. It's like, it's just so easy to fix. Like I can look at a guy who's 20 stone, let's let's help the Americans out here. A guy who's like 300, 400 pounds in weight and he's like depressed and he's eating shit all the time and he's like at McDonald's three, four days a week and he's like, yeah, it's just different for me. I've never been able to get in shape and, you know, it's just, women don't really find me attractive and I just, I just don't have the same energy levels as you. It's just genetic. It's like, buddy, I could smack you in the face because it's just such a soft mentality. You know, you've listened to the media, listened to all these people that make excuses for you, all these doctors that are like, it's normal to not get an erection. It, like, one in three guys, shut up with the one in three fucking guys. What are you talking about? Honest to God, I could get two hours sleep, wake up and my dick is diamond hard. It's just ridiculous. All these excuses now that are put out there for men. Oh, it's okay to be infertile. It's like, is it? Because I don't think it is. And I think it's a direct correlation of our testosterone levels getting smashed to pieces. It's okay to be fearful of not uh, wanting to approach women. It's okay to, you know, have anxiety and not be confident. It's okay. We all get anxiety at times. It's okay. It's like, where has that come from? Where has that come from? You know, is it normal to feel like shit? Yeah. Is it normal to not be at a high level and be like, fuck, I'm not where I'm supposed to be? Yeah. But is it normal to sit there and just feel like, woe is me and not work on yourself? That's not fucking normal. That's not male behavior. You know, we've all got hangups where we're like, fuck, I don't look too good today. But you're not going to let it affect you. You know, it's like I've been in positions where I thought I looked like shit when I was younger. But I worked on myself relentlessly. Like if I had said to my dad... Dad, I just feel like really anxious. Everyone's looking at me. I don't want to go out today. I just feel... He'd be like, what you talking about, you silly little cunt? And people who know him would be like, yeah, that's exactly what he'd say. He'd go, what are you talking about, you stupid little cunt? Get the fuck out there. Stop being a wanker. Those exact words he's probably said to me at some point. Okay, this is coming from a man who I, bab- I badmouthed my mum. He just picked me up upside down and tried to drown me in the pool, right? It's, I don't think he was ever going to kill me, but it's the type of guy we're talking about here, a beast of a man. And he would say the same thing. Like, you'd just be like, get stuck in, fucking get fired up. Like, you'd be playing a football match and he was like, first tackle, just snap the cunt in half. Like, just fire in there, set a good tone, you know, show him you're not going to be fucked with. We, I told you guys this before, we'd be driving to a football match. He'd open all the windows and it was like minus two degrees outside. And I was like, fuck, why'd you open the windows? He was like, so that when you get on the pitch, you're going to be like, the cold isn't going to affect you. 
He said all these other like pansies are driving with their mum and dad and they're like, are you okay, son? And they've got the heaters on. He was like, when you get there, you're going to be like, fucking let's go. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. And like before the game, he'd like slam into me with shoulder barges. He'd be like slapping my legs in the cold and he was like, stings, doesn't it? He was like, well, it ain't going to hurt. It, that's going to hurt more than it will in the game. And I was like, eh, again, good point. It's the type of man he was and that's what he fed onto me. High testosterone. That was the link there. My uncle, high testosterone, in his 50s, fucking girls in, his, in their 20s, regularly. And they're like, they're girls that I know and they're like, it's best sex I've ever had in my life. Do you know what I mean? So there's no, there's no fucking excuses. The guy's got high testosterone, he's a builder, he's outside all day. Uh, he goes to the gym, lifts heavy, heavy shit, you know, stays on top of things, has a really good diet, you know, he's a healthy guy. Um, it's just like, I just think there's so many excuses out there and it's encouraged. Just like the thing I said about mental health is it's like mental health in this era, it's, it's kind of prolonged. It's like people want it to keep going. Do you know what I mean? It's okay to feel bad. You should speak to somebody. It's like, no, it's not okay. It's not normal. It's not normal. I've been there. It wasn't normal. It wasn't nice. I didn't fucking enjoy it. And now I'm in the position I'm in now. I feel fucking great. I wake up each day with a hard dick. Muscles bulging, low body fat, you know, strong jawline. And I'm just like, I'm going to the gym, getting female attention. I'm talking to whoever I want. I'm confident, deep voice. It's just like, yeah, I'm, I feel fucking great. Do you know what I mean? Like what? I, I don't understand why you wouldn't want that. But so many people are like, but I'm depressed. And I, there's too many excuses out here now. And it can all be fixed with high testosterone, guys. So, but like before you do anything, like guys saying, I'm going to learn a language, I'm going to, what, like, before you do anything, go back to the basics, the drawing boards, tap into that primal masculine testosterone, okay? Go and do the fundamentals that I spoke about earlier, then start getting the real small things. Like, for example, and this isn't a promotion, go, you go, go and buy the individual ingredients on Amazon if you want. You'll soon find out it's way more expensive than my supplement, which is why I made it. But go and buy all the ingredients that's in my men's lifestyle supplement. Go and find like Tonka Ali, ashwagandha, stuff like this. This sort of shit is proven to boost testosterone. You know, go and get your blood work done. See what your testosterone levels are. See if your zinc's low, your iron's low, whatever. Adapt your diet. Sleep better. Like It's got to be like a fucking religion to boost those testosterone levels. Because I promise you, if you're sat inside all day and you're like, oh, I just feel depressed. Get outside, get some sunlight. You know, today I was sunning my balls and I feel fucking fantastic. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's, it's 11.03, right? And I'm making a video right now. That's 11.03 p.m. Obviously, it's dark. And I am buzzing. I've got so much energy. I feel fucking great. And I've hit the gym today and I've gone out and met a friend today and I've worked today and I've had business calls. I should be tired. I'm not. I'm not tired. I feel fucking fantastic. Okay, I could probably stay awake for another four or five hours. I could go to bed tonight, get four or five hours of sleep, go to the gym tomorrow and crush it. That's how good I feel, okay? You've got to focus on those testosterone levels, guys. Because like I said, people go, testosterone, that's just gym muscles and what? And it's just like, it's the mentality shit. It's the energy shit. It's the way it makes you feel about yourself. You're just like, I'm the most confident motherfucker around. You know, you're sat there watching porn all the time and just diluting your brain and... Uh, when you when you masturbate too much and watch porn and stuff like that, it fucks up. I can't remember the exact science on it, but it messes up your testosterone receptors and you have less of them. It makes them less sensitive or something like that. So you might have the testosterone in your body, but it can't be used by your body. It's stuff like that. Fluoride will fuck up your testosterone. It's in your toothpaste. It's in a lot of water sources. Okay, like drinking out of plastic bottles. Fuck up your testosterone. Like if you boost your testosterone by like 100, 200 nanograms per deciliter, you'll feel like a different human as long as your testosterone is low. If your testosterone is already high, you might see small effects. You might have like, you might shoot bigger loads. You might feel like you want to have sex two, three times a day instead of one. Like it might be like tiny little things like that. You might feel slightly more aggressive. You might do one extra rep. You might break your PBs in the gym. It's like very small changes. But if you've got low testosterone, you feel depressed and anxious and whatever, and you boost that shit by 100 to 300 nanograms per deciliter, slowly but surely you'll see it. You'll just see the changes. You'll be like, I just feel fucking amazing. Like if somebody could say to you, right, there's a supplement, you take it and you have tons of energy. You just wake up, you've just got tons of energy and you're, you're currently a guy who feels like shit every day, all day, every day. And somebody says to you, you can take this one supplement and you're going to have boundless energy. That shit should be illegal. 
You, you would be able to buy that for like 20 grand on the market. Do you know what I mean? That's insane. We've got that naturally inside of us. It's just nobody taps into it. It gets ignored. The media doesn't really entertain the idea that our testosterone levels are getting blasted. Yeah, men are easier to control when they got low testosterone levels. Yeah, they're less successful, which means they can do all the mundane jobs which we need them to do. Is, is it better for society? It actually is. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Is it better for you, personally? No, it's shocking. Okay, guys, so... If you, you know, you might not have any role models in your life, you might not have like an older brother, a father figure, you might not be able to look at any men around you and be like, he's the fucking man. You might watch this video and not like me, I don't give a fuck. But I guarantee you respect me and I guarantee you're looking at my life and thinking that's better than the way I'm living. That guy, yeah, that guy sorted some shit out. Like, I don't like him, he's a big-eared cunt, he gets on my nerves, he's arrogant, he's got a massive ego, but fuck, yeah, his life's pretty cool. Well, at the end of the day, guys, what, what really matters more, do you know what I mean? As long as you've got a cool life, you're happy, you're waking up in a good mood, you've got energy, you're fucking beautiful women, your dick's working at like optimum level. I wake up in the morning, it's just diamond, rock hard, it's the biggest it's ever been. I feel confident, I'm ready to go at any time, do you know what I mean? I can do multiple rounds, I'm shooting, busting massive loads. There's something just nice about that, of like a core fundamental element. You know, I, if some guy comes up to me in the street and he's like, fuck you, I'm not going to be like, oh, okay. I'm going to headbutt the cunt. I'm going to smash him all around the road. There's something in that. And I think it's respect for yourself. You believe in yourself. You're passionate about yourself. You're like, I can fucking handle myself. I'm strong. I can knock that cunt out. I don't take shit off anybody. That, like, every guy wants that. That's why we gravitate towards Andrew Tate. That's why we gravitate towards uh, Conor McGregor, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. These guys that in every generation just went, fuck society, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to just be the outspoken loud guy that just takes fucking, you know, takes center stage and just runs the show. And men are just drawn to people like that. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, Sylvester Stallone, you know, Rob Van Dam back in, Rob Van, did I say Rob Van Dam? <laughs> Rob Van Dam. I'm talking about Claude Van Dam. Um, you know, people just really respected guys like that back in the day. Like everyone was addicted to like Conan the Barbarian. I want to be like him and whatever. People used to watch wrestling back in the day. I want to be like Triple H coming out to the music. Like everybody, I heard the Tate brothers talk about this. When people play games, like video games, and they create their character, nobody creates themselves, creates a little pussy. Everyone creates some like six foot ten alpha male with a solid, solid jawline, loads of muscles, strong as an ox, punch power 99. Everybody gravitates towards that shit and wants to be that. And it's just like you've got a lot of it, like not everyone's going to be at that level, but you've got that power inside of you to rise above all of these pussies out here because 90% of men have got testosterone issues now. You can rise above all of these pussies, run the show and have the life that you exactly want. It's right there for you. I, I, I've given you, you know, a lot of the evidence here in this video. You can go out and research this relentlessly. I think it should be... You know, once a day, just search like how to boost testosterone levels, read a different article, read something else, you know, find another YouTube video where some jacked guys talking about it. What supplement can I take? Like buy something new, just keep chipping away at it. Because once those testosterone levels get above like, once you get like above 600, 700, you just start seeing major changes because, you know, in years gone by, you might have been eaten alive. But in this generation, that makes you, you know, kind of top dog. You start just, you start seeing... Other guys not wanting to compete with you. They start moving out of the way. Women start falling into line for you. Like it, yeah, it, it all comes together. It really works. Depression goes away. Anxiety goes away. Fear of rejection goes away. Because you're like, who gives a fuck? I'm the man. If she says no, it doesn't fucking matter. Like is she, you, you know, like when, when Andrew Tate was like, what color is your baguette? It's like the same thing. It's like, well, okay, like how, how many floors up is your penthouse? Like, where, do you know what I mean? I'm just like, I don't. I'm not, oh, what, you're going to reject me? Well, good luck working in that shit little shop for the rest of your life because you're going to be ugly in like three, four years' time. Like, and it's not a, like a hatred thing because I wouldn't say that to her. I'd just be like, yeah, whatever, who cares? It's just like I believe in myself. My brain, my chemistry, whatever, whatever you think of me because of that, oh, this guy's a dick, he's egotistical, gets fucking results. It gets results, do you know what I mean? So, and my life's fucking amazing because of it. And if you want to follow suit, like I said, if you don't have an older brother, father figure... My dad was a great role model in that sense. And if you, like, he had his flaws and whatever, like modern, like modern men are fantastic in terms of like treating women and looking after people and whatnot. I love that side of it. I think that you can definitely be a gentleman alongside of it. You can care for people, do charity work and all that shit. 
But to just have that high testosterone and just know you're not taking shit from anybody, there's just something in that. It's primitive, it's, pri it's just primal, right? I don't take shit from anybody. I stand up for myself. I speak up when I want to. I'm not afraid of anything. <clears throat> like, even if things go wrong, you're like, but I fucking did everything I could. There's something in that, guys. And I just want all of you to live with that. Kind of like, I live my life to the fullest. There was no regrets. I always pushed it as far as I fucking could. And I was never in fear, you know, of all oh, that might go wrong. Or I won't try it because the fear of fear is holding me back. Fuck all that. Okay, and I want the best possible life for you guys. I want you to feel exactly how I feel. I want you to be able to come on this camera. Fuck, there's no timer on it. Is there a timer on that camera? I assume I've been talking for an hour or so. I want you to be able to come on camera and talk for an hour non-stop, confidently, and your brain doesn't have fog. Like I'm just bang, 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 next word. Articulate that, articulate that. Get the next point across. Got something new to say. It's high testosterone. Okay, that's where it comes from. I just feel like... Do you know what I mean? I've got no fear of it. I'm not on camera worried about oh, what people think of me. I'm just ready to go. I could do, I could wake up, somebody could wake me up at 2 a.m. in the morning, get me out of bed, sit me down naked and go do a speech. And I'd go, fine. Could be a thousand people in front of me. I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll do this. You're looking at my dick, so what? Don't give a fuck. Like, it's just something in that. I want that for you guys, okay? But I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It was something a little bit different. But I'm telling you right now, high testosterone is literally a silver bullet it's a one fix all problem. It will change your life. Just focus on it fucking massively. For like the first two, three years of my self improvement journey, that's all I did. It was like how to get higher testosterone levels, how to get higher testosterone levels, how to become an alpha male, which is like some old school younger guy shit. But a lot of it came from boost your T levels. And then I was like figuring out how to do it. It's led to a lot of the shit of like where I am today. Okay, guys. And I've only pushed them further as I've gotten older. I just want that for you guys. Okay, like don't listen to the mainstream media and all this pussy shit that's out there. It's a, it's a silver bullet. I'm fucking telling you. Okay, stop being pussies. Okay, guys, we've got a bunch of products here at First Man. We've got our men's lifestyle supplement, which is everything that a man needs on a daily basis. We've got our natural diuretic supplement, Defined, which allows you to get an angular face, removes all the water, especially good for summer. We've got our Male Advantage book, which is a paperback. You can order this, or you can get this in audiobook format or ebook format. We've got our Better Looking Man course, which I'll bring up pictures on screen now. And we've got my personal diet plan and fitness plan in ebook format.